Brethren, make up your mind that you will not only tell the truth from now on. Make up your mind that you will only tell the truth. It is a decision that you need to take. I don't know about you, but I have taken that decision long ago. Please tell the truth. Nobody is what. What you're being a liar. Let whoever do their worst but stand on the truth. Do before then. Ensure to live right. Ensure to do right. And then you present the things the way they are. Stand on the truth. May God help you to live on truth. Not to tell lies in Jesus' name. Amen. By the special grace of God, we are looking at a topic that says God hates lies. And our Bible passage will be Acts of Apostles 5, 1 to 11, while our memory verse will be Revelation 22, verse 15. Let us pray. My Lord and my God, we thank you. We bless your name. We magnify your name today. Thank you. Even for the series of topics you've been taking us to teach us a way of life, a way to live. Lord, help us that even as we learn today about your hatred for lies, help us to live above lies at all times in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Bible passage is as of Apostles 5, 1 to 11. It's a long one. We're not going to read it, but it's a common one. It is about Hananias and Sapphira. We know their story. The Holy Spirit struck them. Why? Because of their lies. They told lies. The property they sold was theirs. So what does it mean? What does it take them to say, this is their man. We sold it for 500 Naira. And we want to use 200 Naira for our personal needs. So we are presenting 300 Naira to the community to the group i believe that is a tough thing to do and most times we even in our money here on earth today people do tell lies but when people tell lies about their tithe what is the essence pay your 10 percent your salary somebody asks you oh what is your salary if you don't want to tell the person tell the person oh, i'm sorry but i think it's a personal thing is better than lying tell the person is a personal thing but if the person insists and you want to tell you tell the person the truth if you do not want to tell tell the person is personal praise the lord hallelujah that is the story of uh, Safira and ananias they died because of their lies let's take a memory verse revelation 22 15 it says for which out are dogs and sorcerers and woemongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie praise the lord revelation 22 15 that we read as a memory verse it tells us that god that as far as god is concerned liars are dogs liars and dogs are the same thing they are in the same category john 8 44 also says that the devil is a liar and the father of lies so if you tell a lie you are declaring openly that you are that your father is the devil himself so a person who lies has the devil as his or her father and then the lord told us years ago of how he traveled to elisha why coming back he decided to go and see the our founder a late general overseer that the josiah king died on me so when he was going to see him as soon as he stopped and bought some oranges for him when he got there as they were talking uh, late pastor was you know licking some of the oranges and as he was taking it he asked him oh did you buy it 
along the road had it that the other that the geo said that he knew that that road he was referring to was like the road from Elisha coming but he answered yes you know when he answered yes he knew he bought it from Surre. he kept quiet he said the holy spirit told him lies you know say what is the difference road is road what i bought it in the road Elisha. he just asked me to do buy it along the road the Holy Spirit told him again lies. He continued giving excuses and the Holy Spirit keep battling with him. The Holy Spirit did not leave him alone. So he had to say the truth. He now said to his father and the Lord, Papa, you asked a question just now. And I actually bought these oranges in Sudurere. Say that the old man nodded his head and said, Hmm, Holy Spirit. He knew who was dealing with him. He said that he always tell is is always surprising to him that many Christians have gotten so used to lying, even in the church. A lying tongue is an abomination to God, according to Proverbs 12, 22. God is irritated by lies, irrespective of where it is told, whether in your house, in the church, on the road, in the market. If God hates lying lips, it means that prayers of a liar will be unanswered. God does not want to hear the voice of a liar. This is why many are struggling. The lies they love to tell have become a barrier between them and the God. Lying can cut you off. It can cut a, 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 a person's life short. Like it's happening in Acts of Apostles chapter 5. The man and the woman who lied to God, Res representatives, they fell down and died. This is a warning to every child of God who tells lies. God does not want you to be destroyed. Do not tell lies. Do not tell lies. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Our hymn today is in one. All hail the power of Jesus Christ. <sighs> I want to appreciate all my returning subscribers. I want to appreciate every one of you. God bless you. God bless you. I do not take you for granted. To those coming to my channel for the first time, I appreciate you. God bless you too. Please do subscribe to my channel if you've not. Give me a thumbs up if you like this particular topic. God hates liar. And I pray that you will never be a liar in Jesus' name. May God give us the grace, give you the grace to come out of every spirit of lies in the mighty name of Jesus. Have a blessed day.